guys welcome back to today's video in today's video we are going to fix this xr 250 cc bike so we bought this bike as a non-running bike so today we are going to find out if it will start i think we have to clean the carb put some fresh fuel in and maybe it will fire up so so i got the original fender from the uh, previous owner and also the uh, seat the original seat So let's put some gas in it and see if it will fire up. So now let's check what kind of fuel comes out of this tank. Uh, maybe we have to clean the tank before we uh, uh, clean the carburetor because otherwise it gets the carburetor dirty again. So let's have a look. So it doesn't look too bad in here. So we're probably just going to put some new fuel in and uh, see if it will start up. So the only problem we are having right now is that the carburetor leaks gas. Now I want to do something about this uh, front fender because I don't like the looks of it. So now let's uh, fit the original fender on it. So this looks way better if you ask me with the original front fender. So the previous owner rode this thing through Spain, through the mountains and stuff and uh, his daughter was uh, on the back of the bike so uh, he made some footsteps for her but I think they have to go because we don't need them. So let's see from what the air this bike is. I see here is the VIN number so we can look it up and see what year it is. So now let's give this thing a very good clean because it's very very dirty as you can see. There we go, we cleaned this bike and it looks way, way better than before. It looks brand new again. So. Now as you can see from the back right here, you see that the, the back plastic is just a little bit twisted. So just like this, I loosened up this screw and when we lower this, this is how it was. Pretty twisted, but then we can do lower this side and it will make it straight so let me use the dremel to make a hole right here so we can mount it just like this just like this now at least the plastic is just straight but the license license plate is just a little bit off but yeah we can fix this so there we go, we made this bike look decent again. Now we can drive this thing. Let's check the carburetor issue and see if we can drive it. So right now it doesn't leak anymore, so that's probably good, I think. So we will leave that for right now and if it leaks again, we will fix it with this uh, gasket. Right now let's uh, oil up the chain because this is really dry. So. so now let's have a look at the oil filter and see if there's any metal chunks or something. So this is good news, the oil filter looks good, there are no metal shavings in there, it's just nasty old oil, so we are definitely going to change the oil. So 
So the oil is in the engine, now let's start it and uh, see if the oil level drops and then we fill it uh, with some, some other oil. So as you can see the oil level is still at the right height after running for a while. Now let's check some other things and then let's get to riding. So let's see the air filter right here and we have some nuts from some kind of <laughs> animal. Crazy. That's the first time I see those. But for the rest this filter looks pretty clean. So let me put some more air filter oil on it because it's pretty dried up. So. I got some here, some Motul. There we go, oiled up the filter. Now let's throw it back in the bike. So now let's go to the Enduro trails and see what this little thing can do. Nice trails going this way. We got some trails going this way to a lake. So let's see where we can go. There we go, we fixed this bike up, now it's running great. We did the maintenance, the oil, the filter, and we made it look a little bit better. So I think this bike rides pretty good. Like this video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more bike builds, and I hope to see you in next video.